I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. I want to say peace, mercy, and blessings to all the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the so called African Americans, Blacks, Seminole Indians, Native Americans, Latin Hispanics, West Indians, Jamaicans, Haitians. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. The self proclaimed white man, he's not white, he's red. They're the Edomites, also called Idumians. According to the Holy Bible, according to Bible prophecy, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. This is an article from Reuters, and uh, it's updated 24 minutes ago. It says that this is the PM of, of the small hats, all right, Mr. Benji, promises more war, dashing peace hopes after blank leader is, you know, <laughs> unalived. Okay, so, in, in the summary, Yahya Sinwar, mastermind of 10-7 attack, on the live by the Small Hats. Okay, so the, the Small Hats men, <laughs> you know, Amalek, all right, they, they, they got a spirit on them. They're taking out all these different leaders, all right? But what's going to happen, this is only going to give cause and rise up of more different leaders, man. All right, because we're going to get that, that, that prophecy here in uh, the book of Joel, chapter 3. All right. This is Joel, chapter 3, and verse 9. It reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Now, those nations over there, those are Gentiles. All right, the people of H, and the small hats, and the, the people of Iran, the Persians, the Turkey. You know, Palestinians, a lot of those people are Gentiles. Now, of course, some of them could be Israelites, too, because our people are scattered all over them. And yes, indeed, some of them are Israelites. And they look like them, they speak like them, they dress like them. Now, some of them may be into the Sunni or Shiite faith, you know. It says, proclaim you this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. So you had the small ass, they have taken out several different leaders. You know, just watch this, this video here. You know, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to, you know, you know. But just go back and, and, and watch this video. It's about two minutes, 52 seconds. Okay. It says, the PM says, the war not over. Blank announces new and escalating phase in conflict. Western leaders see Sinbar's death as chance for peace, which that's the horror. Okay. Iran says resistance will be strengthened by Sin Wars death. So yeah, more somebody else is gonna fulfill his shoes as being another leader of the resistance against Amalek, man. That's all that's gonna happen. Okay, it's Joel three, verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So we're proclaiming, all right, amongst Amalek, amongst uh, uh, Persia amongst those Palestinians, amongst Ishmael, amongst Elam, amongst Esau, okay, amongst all you different nations, Gog and Magog, Russia, wake up the mighty men. So the mighty men are being waking up, roused up, okay. Next, let's look at Strong's age fifty seven eighty two. Or, or. It says to act in an aroused manner. So the, the, these nations over there, all right, the different nations that are against the uh, small hats, Amalek, they're being roused up for battle. Okay, they, they're being awakened to who their 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 enemy is, and it's only going to push those various Islamic you know, nations and factions is going to push them closer together because they have a common enemy. There's a common threat in their land, okay? Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, all right? Prepare war. Prepare for what? 
the third woe. Okay? Because this is what this is uh, leading up to. And yes, there's wars and, and rumors of wars, but this the buildup is for um, Hamagidon, or Hamagawan, which means mountain of troops. Or in the English, you would say Armageddon. Okay? Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. So, hey, the, the, the mighty men are going to be excited, they're going to be roused up, they're going to be uh, awakened. Right? It says to wake someone up or make someone more active or excited. So, yeah, this, the, this right here, all right, it's only going to make those nations more excited for war, okay, and wake them up more. And and, and St. Benji, he, he said he promises more war, <laughs> dashing hopes of peace after. So he's not sat. So meaning he's not satisfied that the leader is alive. He wants more blood, okay? And that's the spirit of Esau. That's the spirit of, of Amalek, okay? Scripture says in Ezekiel, uh, since thou hast not hated blood, you're not going to get it, but I believe that's in Ezekiel 35. Okay. So I'm going to read in the ledger in my, uh, my sword. I have a Holman KJV study Bible, you know, which I highly recommend you get a sword like this. Again, it's uh, a Holman KJV study Bible, actually. Google it so I can show you. Okay, there I go right there. You know, you get that along with the Apocrypha. This is the one I have. It's hardcover. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good sword. Now you can get the good news translation and also the, the Apocrypha. You know, but I'll read in the, in the ledger here uh, for verses. Uh, 9 to 12 and Joel 3, it says the Gentiles are summoned to battle. Okay? And the precepts, it gives you the precept, Revelation 16 and 4. Okay, it says demonic spirits are used to motivate the nations for the final battle, which what's final battle? I'm a God one. Right? It says, let's go. I'm going to read 10. It says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So those nations that were, were once weak, you know, they may not have the weaponry, the, you know, the, um, the numbers, the technology to, to go against the, uh, the FJs or the West or even to speak out against it. But now they are, okay? Now they're allies. Now they have the numbers. Now they have the technology. Now they have the weaponry. Now they have the courage. Now they have the spirit. All right? Because it's the Haba Shem Shai is rousing up these spirits for war. Okay? Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. Which is, this is what? This is the, uh, you know, this is the opposite of Isaiah 2 and 4. Okay? And Isaiah 2 and 4, they're going to do the opposite. They're going to beat their spears into pruning hooks. They're going to beat their swords into plowshares because there's not going to be any war in the kingdom of heaven when when the real children get that land back, man. Okay. So back in Joel 3 and verse uh, 11. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh by Shem El Shai. So things are heating up. This this one is from Russia today. Right? So this is from Reuters.com, Reuters News. But do you also have this article from Russia Today? Okay, it says IDF releases video of Sin Wars last moments. All right. IDF has revealed more details about the Blank leader's death. The Blank military has released a drone video purporting to show the death of political leader Yah Yah Sinwar in southern Gaza. The IDF announced on Thursday that Sinwar was unalive at a, 
unspecified location, officials in the West Holy Land celebrated the demise of the man crucial to the Palestinian group's military activities, including the 10-7 attacks. Okay, so there you have it, man. You know, and, and you know, we're not in the time of peace, right? This is what the Lord said. This is Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am not come to send peace, but a sword. So let's look up the word here for sword. Strong's G, 3162, Machira. Machira. Okay, and that's the Greek. We're going to look at the Strong's definition. Figurative, figuratively, war. Okay, judicial punishment, sword. Okay, so I'm going to read that again. Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but sword. I came not to send peace, but war. Okay, and this is the red letter, so this is the words of Yahweh Shah, the one who the world ignorantly calls so Jesus Christ or Yahshua or Yahoshua. You know, there's other names that they call him besides Jesus, you know, but we call him by Yahweh Shah, which is the uh, Paleo Hebrew or Lashawan Kodash, the pure tongue. All right, that's the name that we call upon. That's the ancient Hebrew. Okay. When the Lord knocked Paul off the horse in Acts 26, and Paul is telling his story, all right, Paul says the Lord called to him and spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. You know, and Paul was a man that took many journeys and visited different synagogues of the Israelites in different countries, okay? And he spoke different languages, okay? In Acts 26, he said the Lord spoke to him in Hebrew, man, so the Lord had a Hebrew name which is Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai said, I'm coming not to send peace, but a sword, and it's talking about war, okay? This is Isaiah 48, 22. There is no peace, said Yahweh by Shem Shai, unto the wicked. Now, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, okay? When you go to Malachi, it tells you that Esau is the border of wickedness, right? Also, when you read First Maccabees, it tells you that, uh, when Esau got into power, many evils and wickedness were increased and were multiplied in the world once this man Esau got into rulership because he is the wicked. Now, of course, this fits two-thirds of our people too. It's twofold, okay? But there ain't going to be no peace in, in this man's kingdom, okay? And also in Revelation 6, it says that uh, he was given a great sword to take peace <laughs> from the earth. You know, I'm going to get another precept on Amalek. It's showing that he's not going to get peace. This is, is Exodus 17 and 16, NIV. He said, because hands were lifted up against the throne of Yahweh Hashem Shai, the Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. So, yeah, that's a prophecy. But that was prophesied in Exodus. Okay, then Isaiah said there will be no peace. Then and when Yahweh Shai came on the scene in Matthew, he said, Think not, thank that I'm not, think not that I'm come to send peace, but a sword. <laughs> and here you got this man, uh, the PM, promising more war, dashing peace hopes after H leader on the live. So this is gonna escalate, man. Okay. And we've been uh this is gonna continue to escalate. This is Revelation sixteen and fourteen. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Almighty, which was that great day, Armageddon, or the third world. Okay. Now, before the third world comes, First, must come the mass implementation of the rice device, the karagma of Revelation 13, 16 on down. That must come first, okay? And then, of course, that's going to tie into uh, Jacob's trouble, economic collapse. You know, shit hit the fan, if you will, man. Okay, but before the third woe comes, the rice device must come, Okay. So, read a little 
little bit more. I may get one more precept. This is uh, <clears throat> Holy Land 1018. PM promises to press on with the war in Gaza and Lebanon. Dash hopes on Friday that the killing of the leader, all right, Mr. Sinwar, might help might help end more than a year of escalating conflict in the Middle East. Well, this is just going to get worse and worse because what they did, all they did by doing this was pretty much span the fire, okay? And you go to Jeremiah, it's talking about Babylon, says send on, unto her families, sent unto her fanners, excuse me, but I'm just using that as a figure of speech to what they did in the Middle East. Okay, this is Jeremiah 50 and verse 45. Therefore he the counsel of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai that he had taken against Babylon, which that's the West. Okay, and the West and uh, the PM, you know, small hats, they're allied. They're allied. Okay. And it's purposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, which well, the West just sent over there 100 troops and a ballistic missile defense system. So that's showing you. Surely the least of the flock, which is the PM, and, and, you know, that land over there, the people of that land, shall draw them out, draw who? The West. Surely he shall make the habitation desolate with them, both of them lands. I'm going to get hit with nukes. But there is a difference because the West will, will be unrecognizable and uninhabitable forever. Okay. So with that, just want to do a, you know, quick lesson. I pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to you. All right. And say shalom to the whole